Hi there, just a um, <clears throat> just a short video to uh, to uh, let you know I'm still on track with the Z80 um, project. It's just that my lab and workspaces are currently dismantled right now uh, due to me moving upstairs. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping to probably hope, hopefully have it back up within the next three weeks. Um, there's a lot of shuffling around in the house right now. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, so right now all I have is time, so, so what I've done is I've, I've put together instructions how to set up a uh, programmer's notepad to help with the uh, Z80 assembly, uh, which for me it took a while to find a good selection of assemblers and a little interface to, uh, to use it in, so I thought I would uh, share this information. Um, with you, oh, there's this camera. <clears throat> so yeah, so basically, um, you'll see in the description there's links to Programmer's Notepad and T. I mean it's called TNI Assembler and XVI32. What was it called? Yeah, XVI32, which is a uh, a freeware freeware hex uh, editor which is uh, it's really helpful, uh, especially if you're working with Z80 stuff. It also lets you inspect the hex output that has come from the assembler to make sure that it compiles exactly as you said it. It's uh, not all compilers, sorry, not compilers, assemblers. Not all assemblers are trustworthy in that way. But, but yeah, T T N TMI, TNI. I think it's called TNI assembler anyway. It's... Um, it's done good so far. Um, the test bit of code I put on uh, basically is just to show what the the code assembling, and uh, it's not meant to show us anything running right now because I don't have any hardware to show it running. Um, that I'm hoping will come very very soon once I get my lab up and running. I'm gonna get some nice new lighting put up as well, so uh, so you can watch me build that, and then. Uh, then we can start playing around with the code. Uh, but I think as part of the first Z80 we're going to build, we're just going to have a, uh, a flash ROM and a RAM chip on it. Uh, just to see what goes on. Uh, and then we're going to use the uh, logic analyzer to, to basically sniff the traffic and see, uh, see if it's performing correctly. And then, then we can work on some sort of... Uh, Input output, uh, probably an A255. Is it an A255? Yeah, A255. Uh, and a little LED display, and, or probably an LCD display, that'd be nice. Nice little Hitachi one. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So, uh, anyway, I will uh, I'll leave you with this video for uh, uh, setting up Programmer's Notepad and. Uh, and I uh, hope that will get people a uh, head start in, in some Z80 assembly. Okay. See you in a bit. Okay, in order to set your uh, system up for creating the, uh, sorry, the compiling the Z80 code from assembly, sorry, assembling Z80 code, you first need to get hold of, um, I use one called TNI Assembler, which I will uh, put a link up and it will be available down below to uh, to download it. And also you need a programmer's notepad. This is what I'm using. I'm going to show you how to configure it. Uh, and also a link will be put down below for that as well. And as an added bonus, I like to use XVI32, which is a, uh, a freeware hex editor. Uh, especially when I'm manually editing hex files, it's, uh, you know, much needed. But I'm going to show you how to use a um, programmer's notepad so you'll have the options on the tools to do that. So um, so let's get started. Okay. Um, first thing I do, well, I'm going to create a, a new file. So, so I'm going to save this as 
can't see that. Sorry. Test 2 ASM. And this will um, cause Programmer's Notepad to know this is an assembler file, because it's an ASM. You might have to do the associations with that if it doesn't do that already, but I already have. Okay, so as you can see here, now you go to Tools, I have Assemble Code, Z80, and I also have Open uh, Binary and XVI32. Now I created these myself. These only show up when this is selected as Assembler in this case. So, I will get on showing you how to do that. So I go to Options, and then we go down to Tools, and then I select Assembler. You can select Global Tools if you like, but I don't think you want to run the assembler on all on the old tools. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these, and then I'm going to show you how to make them afresh. So then we go to Add, <coughs> and then basically we put in our, a name for the command. Assemble code. Z80. This is just what I put. You can put whatever you like. And then you use this button to go and find your um, your compiler. I put mine in Z80 TNI, TNI ASM, and then you select the exe file and OK. And for the folder, if you look down here, you can use commands. See, um, I use percent %d for mine. And for the parameters, uh, now keep in mind when you install TNI ASM, you should put it in a folder that does not have spaces in the name. Um, mine's normally in my Dropbox, but because of the spaces in the path, it makes it a bit, a bit difficult. So right now it's in uh, DZ80. Okay, so the parameter you're going to have is uh, percent %d the path and then percent %f which is the file name of the file you're using with its um, extension so it'll be test2.asm in this case space and then I'll, I like to define the output file uh, the output so it's percent %d percent %n which shows here which is the file name without an extension and then I basically add the extension dot bin to make it a binary file. Um, <coughs> if you want to use a different extension for your output that's perfectly fine but you must remember what extension you used for when you add the XVI32 because it, it'll be looking for the file name of the ASM file but with that extension instead of the, the .asm. And, uh, yeah, uh, was there any console ILO? Nope, that's right, so I'm going to click OK on that. And next I add open bin in XVI32 and command for that. Mine is actually in my Dropbox, so it's in uh, Dropbox Z80 stuff. XVI32, open that, and then for the folder again, I want uh, percent %d, and then percent %n dot bin, which is which is the reason why I said you should, uh, if you're going to change to a sync over then dot bin, then you change that here as well. Now you you might be able to get the other code going in a file with spaces in it but um, I haven't really played too much with it I've had a little trouble but but anyway so here's what I've got so, so I'll put that so there, there we go so now they're both here and uh, to give it a test I will drop a bit of code in it that I I have from my previous Z80 programming stuff so I'll just paste that in um, I'm not a bit ex expert on this assembler, but as we see here, the, it says org 000 means 
the code starts at address 000 from here and there's a link um, there's the reset vector which is at 000 and then next this forg means this will be uh, at address 66 which is the uh, the non-maskable interrupt vector on a Z80 uh, basically it will I think it'll put nothing in here like probably zeros until it gets to 66 and then it'll continue the code on see so I've got the label NMI here and basically load A with 4D and then load that to address 4013 and I think the stuff missing but anyway and this tells it to now start putting code at address 0100 and then it'll uh Okay, yeah, I remember now. And then basically it puts it in a in a loop out the way. So the idea is is then when the NMI is asserted it will uh, it will load 4D at this address. 4D is hex for M, which is the first letter of my last name. So <clears throat> I use that because I know the uh, the hex code for that. Yeah, so it'll put that at uh, that address, and that way I could um, check the the memory. Uh, this is using my old board, where the where the pick was hijacking the bus and and looking at it. But but yeah, I could look at the code, and, and I would see that the NMI had been initiated correctly. And this here basically just keeps uh, overwriting the same uh, s same bit I think that's it where was it uh, it's been a while since I wrote this bit of code anyway uh, the point is we're not we're not seeing it execute right now so it doesn't matter what it says as long as it it compiles um, Yeah. Okay, so let's save that, and then we go to Tools, Assemble Code. And as you can see, we have an output window open at the bottom. And yours should say this. Uh, basically it's telling me that it's loaded the, the program, give it this parameter and that parameter, and it's processed it, finished. So this should have created test2.bin. So if we go to tools and open bin in XVI, uh, you see here's the uh, here's the code. Uh, so we'll go to uh, 66. Is that 66? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It puts all zeros in, which is good. Um, because that's no operation in uh, in Z80 language. So I think here I'm putting stuff above 4,000. Should all be zeros. Uh, but yeah, but that is uh, that's how to set up the programmer's no notepad for doing the uh, the Z80 assembly.